Is Tom Ellis married? We know who Tom Ellis is. A harbinger of evil, ruler of hell, British man who says, Detective! in a memorable accent. But do we know everything about his love life? Tom is best known for his roles. One is the British sitcom Miranda, where he played the role of Gary Preston from 2010 to 2015. And let's not forget the American series Lucifer, taking the role of Lucifer Morningstar in the hit series. Leaning more into his personal life, Ellis tied the knot with Tamsin Althway, an East Enders co-star of his and James McAvoy, well known as Professor X, played a big part in their love life since he introduced Althway to his best friend Ellis. Unfortunately, the two had a divorce due to Ellis's issues with his past relationship. However, he's been a good father to his three daughters. So, he's divorced, but is he single now? Well, hear us out guys, because Starface Productions gives you the woman behind Tom Ellis' success. We know you're enjoying the series in the comfort of your homes, which is why we're here to soothe your appetite for more Tom Ellis. By the way, Ellis would appreciate it if you subscribe to Starface Productions and hit the bell icon. Also, leave us a like. The truth about Tom Ellis' relationship status. So, who's the lucky gal? It's none other than Megan Oppenheimer. Tom didn't have a lot of luck in his love life until he met her. In Megan, Tom found the love of his life and the woman he wants to spend the rest of his life with, and his social media pages reveal how much he loves her. There are loads of photos showing the couple having the best times together. But unlike Tom, Megan prefers to be behind the camera rather than in front of it. That doesn't mean that she is not as famous as her husband though. In fact, Megan started acting in the theaters of Tulsa, Oklahoma when she was still young. She then went on to star in the Disney series Even Steven, which aired between 2000 and 2003. Oh, I remember the series. Feels like it was just yesterday. And in 2010, she featured in the films The Rock and Roll Dreams of Duncan Christopher and Hot Mess. A year later, she appeared in the series Stock Talk and the movie Love Finder. She also appeared in the television series How to Marry a Billionaire. But somehow, she felt that acting was something she would leave behind. And her final role as an actress came in 2012 when she appeared in Love Finder, The Virals. After that, Megan chose to pursue a career as a screenwriter and a producer. Stay tuned guys, cause we'll reveal more about the relationship at the end of the video. Facts about the Devil's Wife with years passing of Megan not being on screen, movie lovers today might not have heard about her. So, what's she like? Who is she? What does the British devil see in her? Don't worry, we'll cover the facts for you. Megan is an Oklahoma native. She was born in March 1986 to Reed and Gabrielle Oppenheimer, and she grew up alongside two brothers and one sister. After graduating from Holland Hall in 2005, Megan joined the Tisch School of Arts in New York to study drama. She then graduated in 2009 with a bachelor's degree and she briefly contemplated staying in New York to pursue a career in theater. However, she couldn't resist the allure of becoming a Hollywood star and so she shot up to become one of the people in the movie industry. Her first project as a screenwriter was on the short film Hot Mess. After that, she developed a screenplay for the musical film We Are Your Friends, starring Zac Efron and Emily Ratajkowski. The film was a huge success, grossing about $11.1 million in box office against a $2 million budget. She also wrote a screenplay titled The Remains. The screenplay didn't result in a movie, but it appeared on the 2013 Blacklist. If you didn't know what it is, the Blacklist is an annual listing of the best screenplays that failed to get filmed. She's that talented. In 2015, she also wrote a screenplay for one episode of the horror series Fear the Walking Dead. You know, the one that's about zombies killing your favorite characters? She also collaborated with T.R. Knight and Penelope Ann Miller to write a screenplay for a series titled Megan Oppenheimer Pilot. ABC changed the series' name to Broken, but the network scrapped it after releasing one episode. So now, her most recent project is the Facebook Watch series, Queen America, where she's both the screenwriter and executive producer. The dark comedy series plays out in her hometown, and it features the struggles of a young model trying to become a supermodel under the guidance of an unforgiving pageant coach. The show amassed over 9 million views, and fans are waiting for season 2. Maybe it's because Catherine Zeta-Jones stars on the series? She also stated that she would love to return for a second season. An angel indeed. Despite being married to the king of the underworld, 
This woman is a true saint as she loves charities. Megan's interest in charities can be traced back to her dad, who studied history and anthropology at Yale University. He has done a lot of work for charities such as The Hunger Project, Grammy Foundation USA, Trees of Life, and Chiapas International. What a dude! Megan's family also runs a private nonprofit organization known as the Reed Jules Oppenheimer Foundation, RJOF. The organization has helped with wildlife conservation, tree planning, poverty reduction initiatives, environmental sustainability, social justice, and many more. The organization is active in many countries around the world, including Nigeria, Nicaragua, Colombia, Paraguay, Tanzania, Vietnam, Honduras, Kenya, and many more. Megan also works to sensitize people on issues facing her country. Her Twitter page is full of messages aimed at directing people's attention towards issues such as immigration and abortion. Recently, Megan and Tom even took a step towards sensitizing people about the abortion issue in some states in the USA. A true power couple. The wicked gets wed. Didn't think the devil would finally tie the knot with the love of his life? Think again, guys. Anyway, how did it all start? What was their relationship like? Let's take a look. Megan and Tom started dating sometime in 2015. The couple's love blossomed and they got engaged in March 2017. We're sure Lucifer didn't need to use his seducing powers for this one. Megan then announced the engagement on 27th of March 2017 in an Instagram post with the caption, Does this ring make me look fat? It was a fun way to announce that she was engaged to the love of her life. Another fun fact? The engagement happened one day before Megan's birthday and this made the occasion extra special. So, what happened at the wedding? Sorry everyone, but Megan and Tom kept the details of their wedding a secret from the world. The only hint was a tweet from Megan on May 29, 2019, stating that she would be on her honeymoon when The Handmaid's Tale premiered on 5th of June. Megan only announced that she was married on June 3, 2019. The wedding took place in the Santa Ines Valley in California. The couple exchanged their vows under oak trees at the Grassini family winery, and Megan looked stunning in a full-length white gown designed by Naeem Khan, while Tom wore a classic black suit. The slightly unusual part about the wedding was that Megan allowed her bridesmaids to wear white gowns since brides usually love to be the only ones wearing white at their weddings. But this didn't matter to Megan and the wedding went on as planned. Only people with an invite knew when and where the wedding would take place. The couple's close family and friends attended the wedding. Tom's castmates and Lucifer also made an appearance at the wedding. Some casts of the Lucifer present at the wedding included Kevin Alejandro, D.B. Woodside, and Rachel Harris. Tom announced the wedding on a photo posted on Instagram with the caption, My new wife at Moppy Oppenheimer was a little unsure about my choice of transport for the honeymoon. Thank you to everyone who made our special day so precious. Choice of transport? What does he mean? Apparently, what Tom was referring to was a canoe that appeared next to the couple at the lakeside location where they took wedding photos. Will Lucifer get more spawns? Will he? Will he create more devilings to take over the throne and take over his bar in Los Angeles? It's not clear whether Megan and Tom are planning to have kids soon. However, Megan's social media posts suggest that she would someday love to be a mom. And that's a wrap for the facts about Tom Ellis' wife. What do you think about the couple? Comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to Starface Productions and hit the bell icon, the thumbs up button as well. See ya!